Today's video is going to be a mini review of the Olympus Pen EPL8, which is my brand new camera that I got recently for Christmas from my lovely mum. Thank you, mum. Um, so this is the brand new updated version of the Olympus EPL7, which has been very popular. This is what the camera looks like, close up, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I went for this colour, which I think is new for the EPL8. I'll show you the back. This is what the back looks like with the screen and the controls at the top. And the screen flips down for selfie mode. So you can take a picture of yourself and your friends, but it also flips up like this and a bit further up. It doesn't go all the way up, but it does go as far as that I'd say. So you can't take a picture looking at the screen upwards but you could do this for flat lace so if you like taking pictures like that looking down it's very very useful. This is going to be a review of having this camera for about I'd say three weeks now so I'm hoping to do a follow-up review when I've had more time with this camera but I thought I would do a review now just letting you know like my first thoughts, my first impressions, how I've been getting on with it so far because I know a lot of people are thinking about getting this camera and I did look for reviews before I bought it and it, they kind of swayed my opinion in order to get this camera. Now if you know anything about me I absolutely love my gadgets and my tech and my cameras and I've done a few videos here on my channel talking about my cameras settings and things like that I'll leave them all linked here in case you want to check them out and very recently probably about two months ago or a bit more I got a new camera which was a Sony a6300 and I talked about that camera a little bit in here on my channel but I had to return it I just wasn't happy with it. It cost me about £1,200 to get the camera with the kit lens, the Sony camera, and the quality that I was getting was just wasn't good enough for the price that I paid and I wasn't happy. So I returned that camera. If I was going to invest money, I wanted to invest money on the lenses as well. So I wanted to get something which was a bit cheaper, but that still would deliver the quality that I wanted. From a photography point of view, I would say you're very very safe with this camera it gives you beautiful stunning amazing photos from a video point of view it gives you really good videos however it can be annoying because of certain features um, but it's not something that i have found a problem at all even though i do videos on this i do vlogs and I've not found it a problem because I'm so happy with the quality. I'm not a daily vlogger, I don't do daily vlogs all that often. I do a lot more of sit down main videos and I wanted a camera that was was portable, that was amazing for photos and good enough for videos and I found that in this little camera. Now price wise, this camera, I think it retails for 400 and 99 pounds something like that i got mine from john lewis i'll leave all the links to the camera and where i got it below and i got it with the kit lens which i have here i don't have the kit lens on the camera because i got a different lens this is the kit lens which is very small it's kind of like a pancake lens very portable this is a 14 to 42 millimeter lens um, f 3.5 so the reason why I got the lens that's on this camera which is a 17 millimeter lens f 1.8 was because I really wanted that shallow depth of field I wanted uh, to be able to take bright pictures and the f-stop on the kit lens the f 3.5 just wasn't good enough it's good for taking good photos, but not for taking great photos, which is something that I find that this little lens here does amazingly well. So, in terms of recommending this camera, I would recommend it if you can get the 17mm lens or any other lenses that are around about f1.8, because I think that what makes me happy about the quality of this camera is the combination of the camera and this lens in particular. I have not gone back to the kit lens since I put this on on the day I bought. And when I did, one day I went to take some pictures of my son meeting Father Christmas this year because the kit lens just wasn't fast enough and all of the photos were coming out blurry and just not very well lit. And so I immediately regretted it. I wish I had this lens on, even though it doesn't zoom because it is a uh, 
prime lens, a 17 millimeter, and I would have been so much more, so much happier with the results. When the screen flips down, it gets in the way of the tripod, which is here, the tripod mount is in that place there. So as you can see, if you were to put a tripod there, you wouldn't be able to have the screen down to see yourself filming. So the, the way to get around it is to buy a little adapter, which I bought, and I'll leave it linked here if you wanna check it out. I got mine from Amazon, it wasn't too expensive at all. But what some of my friends have found a problem when they're daily vlogging is that because the screen flips down, that they can't place the camera like on a table, for example, and carry on vlogging because obviously the screen gets in the way. So that was like a con for some of my friends, but like I said, I don't do many daily vlogs and that wasn't a problem for me. So the lens, the 17 millimeter lens, cost about 420 pounds. The black one in the John Lewis website is currently 370 odd pounds. So it's not cheap, but even the combination of the lens and the camera came out cheaper than my Sony A6300, which was over a grand and I wasn't happy with the quality. And I am so, 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 so happy with the quality of this combo. Obviously, if I were to get a better lens for my Sony camera, I probably would have liked it a bit more, but then I would have had to invest another 400 pounds, 500 pounds on top of what I already had paid to get similar, well, similar kind of quality, not, the same because the Sony camera did record in 4K and this one only does videos in 1080p. But anyway, this is like my little roundup review, first thoughts, impressions on this camera. Is it worth the money? To me, yes. And to a lot of people, I would recommend this camera. I would recommend it for it being like a main family camera if your parents are looking or your grandparents for a new camera. It is pretty, so I would recommend it for like an Instagram addict person or a blogger or a vlogger. Um, and it takes stunning photos. And I am really, really picky with photos. I've been so pleased. The way that I know that I like the photos on this camera is that whenever I need to take a picture of something really quickly, I don't reach for my big DSLR. I reach for this camera. And before with my Sony camera, I just wasn't reaching for it at all. If I wanted to take a picture of something in the house or even outside of the house, I'd always go for my DSLR, even though it's bigger and it's a lot, a lot more hassle. Um, and with this camera, I'm really happy with the way that it, the photos come out. But overall, I'm really, really pleased with this camera for the time that I've had it. And I've used it so much already. I find the Wi-Fi function on this is so easy and quick to use. I find myself all the time taking photos with this and putting them straight onto my phone. And even though my DSLR does that and the Sony a6300 did that, I just never bothered transferring the photos from the Wi-Fi functions of these cameras because it's just like really fiddly or like takes ages and with this camera it just works. So really, really pleased and impressed. Oh, and it's touch screen as well, which it makes a huge difference, especially if you're taking pictures of children. Like I take a lot of photos of my son and he moves out of frame so quickly. He runs around and it's so useful to be able to tap to focus on him quickly and then grab the shot and it comes out perfectly. So this was my quick review of the Olympus Pen EPL8, and I would highly, highly recommend this camera. Really impressed with it. It might have its drawbacks, its downsides, but I think all cameras do, and you just have to find what works for you and what are the downsides that are completely no-nos for you. If you're a daily vlogger, it might annoy you that the screen flips down and you can't place the camera flat and see yourself whilst you're filming, but if you're not a daily vlogger, if you do videos sporadically or if you do videos of your family and if you are more into photography, then this camera is absolutely perfect. I hope you enjoyed this little review. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you very soon. Bye.